Hey YouTube, what's up? For once, this isn't going to be a piano cover. A professional would say, I'm going to be addressing an issue regarding plagiarism. But I would say, I'm going to expose the hell out of someone. I'm going to be talking about this guy, or girl, sorry not sorry if that was offensive, named Matthias Huang. I could go off and make more fun about this guy, say mean things, cuss about him, or anything above that, but it's not really in anyone's place to go that far and judge someone so harshly, no matter how badly I want to. So I'm mainly here to just call him out and expose what he's done. This guy's a Brazilian YouTuber with over 730,000 subscribers who used my and other people's content for his own use, pretty much claiming that they're his. The specific content he used are piano covers from myself and other YouTubers. I don't even know how to describe the stupidity behind what he's done. And at the same time, it's also pretty comedic as to how hard and how much he tried making it seem like he was the one playing those covers. Before I go in depth about this, I want to thank the YouTuber Botau Select for creating all the exposure behind this issue. He made this video just last week basically explaining how Matthias plagiarized people's work, which is exactly what I'm going to be talking about here also. I'll have the link for his video and all the other ones I'm about to mention in the description below. Again, major thanks to you, or should I say, obrigado. So anyways, let's get started. I'm not sure how many times or how many people he's plagiarized in total, but in this video I'm going to be talking about three different incidents involving three different YouTubers. The three I'm going to be talking about are obviously myself, another YouTuber named Emily Jin, and surprisingly, the great Animens. So for me, he used my cover for I Need You by BTS. He cropped and mirrored a huge portion of that cover and then put it in his own video, pretty much making it seem like he was the one playing it. So here's a short clip that I made to prove that. So now for Emily Jin, he used her cover for Spring Day, also by BTS. What he did to her cover is pretty similar to mine, except the only difference is that all he did was zoom in, pretty much cutting off most of her body. So here's another short clip I made to prove that one. Como estamos quase chegando em 16 mil inscritos, tentei tocar Spring Day do BTS pra vocês. Não ficou aquelas coisas, mas foi de coração pra agradecer a tudo que vocês fazem por mim. Eu não gravei meu rosto porque eu fico com vergonha quando eu tô tocando algum instrumento. Lastly, for Annie Menz's cover for Unravel by TK, you know, Tokyo Ghoul opening, he used the audio in the background while pretending to play it himself throughout the video, without showing his hands throughout the entire thing. So here's another short clip I made for that too.
You know, to be honest with you, it's pretty comedic how fake all of this is. Like, why? Why you gotta do that, bro? Oh, sorry about that again. I forgot that you might not be a dude. So anyways, a few days after Botao Select's video went up, Matias took down two out of three of the videos. The one involving me, and the one involving Emily. But even though he did that, I'm still pretty upset about it because he most likely monetized off those videos because he has ads turned on for his channel. So what am I trying to say out of this whole video? I'm obviously trying to show and prove that this guy is a huge fake. To let all of you know about this and keep in mind whenever you hear about him. And for questions? I'd like to ask Matthias himself why he would do such things. I mean, I get it. A talentless person like you is expected to do something like this. Another thing to ask which would seem impossible is for compensation for what you earned off the video involving me. Even though you had like, what, a bit over 11, maybe 12,000 views? Even if it's a penny, I want it. Also, I'd like to ask you, the people, to continue reporting him for these acts. I'm sure YouTube will still work on those reports from last week regarding the videos he took down, but if not, let's continue reporting him anyways just to see if anything happens. I want to see you get taken down one way or another, even if the least that could happen to you is a strike on your channel. It'd be pretty funny if you made a video in response to this. I wonder what you'd put on it. Maybe clips from this video? Or maybe your own, own count of me? <laughs> but seriously though, if you did make one to target me, I really wonder what you'd say on it. Because everything I'm saying here is the truth. So the last thing I'd want to say to you is... Thank you. If it wasn't for your stupid act to begin with, alongside Botao Select's video, I wouldn't have as many views and subscribers right now because of everything that happened in the past week. Also, I wouldn't have such a great Brazilian fanbase if none of this happened. And, thanks to this, I wouldn't have learned so much video editing and Photoshop in the past couple days. So overall, no matter how much I dislike you for what you did, I still feel like I have to thank you even a little bit. So, obrigado to you. And final thoughts I'd like to say here are major thank yous to the people that helped me report the hell out of him last week. From other YouTubers, the comments, my subscribers, and especially my friends, I want to thank you guys. Specifically, I'd like to thank my boys Mark, Merrick, Damian, Christian, alongside Masha, Gaith, Hafsa, Dion, Persia, Cynthia, Syed, and again, Botao Select for creating all of this exposure in such a short time. I want everyone to spread the word and do everything you can to get this video more out there. And if any of you subscribers are wondering about my piano covers, I've been busy focusing on an exam I'm going to take in June, so I'll be doing covers again in the summer. So overall, that's the end of this video. Thank you again. Obrigado. Peace out.